Welcome to the Weather Guru Podcast for December 1st, 2024. We're going to be talking about the lower 48 weather as well as tropical conditions. As you know, the hurricane season ended November 30th, 2024, and we've had a pretty active season. We've had four landfalling hurricanes, three of which hit landfall in Florida of this year. And we've had a lot of record-breaking storms such as Hurricane Milton and Barrow. And uh, we're happy to be done with that. Now we're moving on to this winter season. Today is the first start of meteorological winter, December the 1st. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel, The Weather Guru, for the latest interpretation of weather events and news in the lower 48 and sometimes beyond the lower 48. I appreciate your support, ladies and gentlemen. Right now we're looking at the water vapor right now. You can see this orange and yellow, this dry air that's hugging the Gulf Coast states and the Sun Belt states here. This is what the jet stream is dipping down, bringing that cool, cold air. And uh, snow showers were continuing today in the Ohio Valley from Lexington, Frankfort, Kentucky, over to West Virginia, snow through West Virginia, down through the central Appalachians, as well as, of course, on the Great Lakes here. You can see here this white snowpack cover here from Cleveland, Ashtabula, Erie, into southern uh, New York, south of Buffalo. Uh, lake effect snow warnings continue in that area. So looking at the National Weather Service, uh, forecast maximum high temperatures for the day you can see that cool air hugging the gulf coast only 26 degrees for high in chicago today 31 degrees for high in cleveland not counting the wind chills feeling in the teens right now and a lot of Excuse me, in the Andy spots. Minneapolis, St. Paul, Twin Cities, 22 degrees Fahrenheit. A cool and crisp 9 degrees Fahrenheit in North Dakota, Jamestown, North Dakota. These temperatures will continue to infiltrate as the jet stream is taking a deep south dive into the deep south here. Morning lows will be lower in Atlanta, 52 degrees Fahrenheit for a high in Atlanta, 54 in Birmingham, 61 degrees in Tallahassee, and 77 degrees Fahrenheit for a high today in Miami. And you can see the dividing line here. And you can also see the National Weather Service has us here. Lake Michigan, the snowstorm, snow showers, lake effect snow showers will continue to impact southwest lower Michigan up the Grand Rapids, Ludington, along 131, Cadillac, Michigan, 75 there. Um, it's impacted through Sault Ste. Marie and all those areas north of Houghton. It's still in that pink and purple winter storm warnings and watches continuing for that area. As well as in central Appalachians there, Beckley, West Virginia, down through uh, the hill country and hollows of West Virginia. Winter weather advisory there for an additional three to five inches of snow. No. Down south, we have a freeze warning continuing for the Okefenokee Swamp area up to almost Statesboro, Georgia, and I-16 and Waycross, Georgia, down into the Panhandle of Florida. Uh, those suburbs, western suburbs of Jacksonville, through Lake City and Gainesville as well, and Alachua County, you're included in this as well, in Columbia County, and the well for a freeze warning. Make sure you need those pipe and drips and uh, water dripping as well. Now, out west, we have just that fog, dense fog advisory for the central valleys east of San Francisco and Oakland there. So if you're heading down the 99 freeway there, down toward Fresno and Bakersfield, Tracy, Lodi, be very careful. Dense fog advisory is in effect for that along there as well. Now, we do have some high wind warnings, but that's way up high wind watches up in Montana toward the Canadian border, and that's all we have going on there. Now, look back at the 2024 tracks. Once again, you can see Helene, Debbie, Milton, Francine that hit and Barrow. Uh, Gulf Coast states really took the brunt of this storm. Most of these major hurricanes develop in the Western Caribbean Sea this time, besides the uh, barrel, which developed way out in the Eastern Atlantic earlier than the Cape Verde season started. And so we've had these storms come in. Ernesto hooked around Bermuda and made some impacts, but nothing crazy. Oscar did a little loop thing loop there. That was a weird storm, too, as well. Then we had a bunch of sea fish storms out here as well. So uh, 2024 was a year for the record books, especially with tornadoes in Milton. Milton threw off a lot of tornadoes in Miami Dade County. And other counties there in Broward County um, and caused a lot of damage, even though the storm itself was well north and, you know, it was kind of an interesting storm. Jet stream pattern, I told you, so you can see the jet stream pattern here, courtesy of weather on the ground. You can see jet stream pattern dipping down here in the east. Cold temperatures, 5 to 15 degrees below normal from Maine all the way down 95 to Jacksonville, Florida there. These temperatures will remain cold, crisp uh, mornings and cold below high temperatures for highs continue for the next seven days here. Big Ridge out west here, providing warmth in here. Nice temperatures going to be out there from L.A., San Francisco, up to Oregon and Seattle as well. Now, looking around, you can see the setup for tomorrow here, Monday, December the 2nd here. We have this little trough extending down, providing snow showers continuing here for southern Illinois. So if you're coming down through the Boot Hill country of Missouri, Carbondale, Illinois, through uh, Jeffersonville, uh, Louisville, Kentucky, through the Danny Boone Parkway, back toward Pikesville, Kentucky, and 75 in London, back toward Johnson City, Tennessee, and Asheville, North Carolina. Some snow showers could be possible there. And then up into the snow belt countries here, western PA, 
Eastern Ohio, Western New York, those snow belt, great lake effect snows will continue on Monday to provide impact. Elsewhere, quiet in the plains, and a little bit of showers down here in Texas. We got to watch that for those in Corpus Christi, Laredo, and the Rio Grande Valley, back towards Victoria, Texas. Rain and thunderstorms are possible in this area. A little trough uh, interacts there with a the boundary. Could provide some showers and storms there. And a little bit of showers off the coast of uh, Miami and Fort Lauderdale and West Palm Beach, Jupiter Inlet. A little showers off the coast there. Just general rain showers, but they can dampen your days if you're going to be spending some time sun tanning on the beach there. Be on the lookout for that. This has been the local weather news, weather forecast, weather guru for December 1st, 2024, the start of meteorological winter. God bless. Please subscribe. Thank you for listening.